Hi, Hiram here. Well, I've had a bunch of requests to use this fruit stove again, but this time using twigs and stuff like we find along the trail. You can find tons and tons and tons of this stuff. People don't want it because they want the big stuff for their fires. So what I've done was I've loaded a good handful in here. Um, it weighs, empty the can was 35 grams. And this is 94 grams now, so that's what, like 29 grams of just wood twigs, dried wood twigs in there. 29 grams? No, what am I saying? 59. Something like that. I'll do the math. I'm going to put a couple of uh, Wilbur fire starter crumbs in here to use as an accelerant just a little bit. It's a little breezy out here right now and it's been sprinkling on and off, but maybe I can still get this in. Okay, that other liquid uh, accelerant that I was using I think was smothering the wood pellets. So I'm just using this Wilbur stuff now. Try lighting this. Okay, and then I'll just start the timer, and let's see where this goes. Okay, now there we are on 10 minutes. That's 10 minutes on the original 59 grams. We have coals in here and it's still burning, but uh, I don't know how much longer this will last. But that was 59 grams of just, pe of just thin twigs and stuff. What I want to do now is, I know this isn't the batch loading, but I just want to see what happens if I throw some twigs on the coals. So I have some broken up stuff here. Just throw some in. See if it'll light this or not. I may just have snuffed it out. Now in this daylight, it's a little hard to see this, these flames, but I think it is lighting it. So I think this may be a viable stove. I mean, you could heat up a cup of water, two cups of water. I'm sure I'll do a test like that. Okay, now that I put more wood on there, it's smoking a little bit, but a lot of this smoke is the glue from the side of the can where I didn't clean it off. Most of the time, it's it's burned smoke free. I mean, look at that. Now it is gaining up there. So if you had some extra water you needed to heat up, or this might even work for not bacon and eggs. I like spam and eggs myself. But, but now by doing this, this is more running it more like a hobo stove than a wood gas stove. Although you can see the see the gas is coming off the wood and it's not coming up as smoke, it's burning it out. Okay, so 
There's another test using my fruit stove with wooden twigs rather than the wood pellets. A couple of things with the wood pellets. I think maybe it was uh, packed in there a little bit too tight. It wasn't getting air. Had it up too high. Plus that gel accelerant that I used looked like it it made the wood pellets dissolve and then form a big mass that wouldn't let the smoke and flames through. So I guess my next test will be doing some boiling on this, see how long it takes, how it works, how much soot gets on the pots. Unfortunately that's one of the problems with wood fires. You're almost always going to get soot. <coughs> So I look forward to your input, your questions, remarks, helpful suggestions, and as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.